Hello everybody! I say that like I have more than one viewer. Uh, this is Dan back for Life Strange. Sorry for that pessimistic uh, intro, but here we are. We're in the uh, we're in the boys' dorm. Uh, what does this say? Uh, whoops! It uh, does that sometimes. Who needs a dorm map anyway? At least I can see that Nathan isn't in room 106 or 108. Wow! This is a uh... wow. Knowledge is good," said no one ever. Uh, that was. This is pretty much the only uh, reasonable thing on this entire thing. Uh, let's see. That's Daniels. Daniel DaCosta. This is blanked out for some reason. So is that. Uh, F off my room. Wait. Is I don't know. Uh, Hayden Jones. I don't know what's in 111. 110, she said something about 106. Yeah, that's it. Uh, there's a TV lounge. That's still pretty rad. Uh, <laughs> I have knew you would do this. Okay. Uh, I'll just walk away from this one. Um, Evan. Of course. That's why no shits were given. <laughs> Evan rolls. I, I, I could deal with Evan then. What's this say? Apparently, Logan missed this poster. <laughs> Who's Logan? I actually don't know who Logan is. Uh, skateboarding is. Oh, why, hello, Trevor and Dana. Skateboarding is not a crime. Mm. Yeah, this is a uh, this is male humor, unfortunately. Sometimes I really do not like my uh, Even science after humor. Kate, nobody here learned anything about bullying. Wow. What about oh, what was this? Oh, jerks. At least nobody messed with the Kate portrait. I guess that's I guess that's not bad. I mean it's terrible for Daniel. Sorry, other me. Uh Bigfoot oh. I almost read that one aloud. Uh <laughs> it's all good in the woods. Uh, skunkweed and video games. I sense Hayden is near. Uh, what does this say? Hello, Warren's room. Hawking and him make a good team. Oh, it's a Hawking quote. Oh, what is this? Poor Warren. This is the work of Nathan. He's so lucky I'm a pacifist. Okay, why is there, like, Binding of Isaac up here? Like, that's not just a general face. That's flipping Binding of Isaac. Like, for reals. Okay. Football poster, this should be good. Oh, you Bigfoots. Okay. Who is in here? Looks like one of the jocks did care about Kate. I don't know who's in here, but they cared about Kate, and they're Max, watching very loud Nathan's football. Room. Oh. This can only be Nathan's room. Well, it's also the only room left, so I'll try. Way to go, Max! Ingenuity! Now I need to find Nathan's phone. Or anything with clues. Ooh, I got a text from Joyce. What? Oh, whoa. Okay, I have a lot to reading to do. Max, now that David is not here, I need Chloe to step up and stop acting out so much. But that won't happen if you and her are getting mixed up in illegal crap like breaking into Blackwell at night. Ooh, she knows. It, I know it happened, so don't bother to defend or explain. I hoped you would get her back on the right track, but it looks like she's getting stuck again. You could be such a good influence on her unless you both want to play bad. But you can't keep blaming David now. Even at 3 p.m., I can't speak. Uh, yeah, by the way, dating, not dating, timing this video. Uh, but, sorry Joyce, even I get into shenanigans, but I'm trying to be a good influence on Chloe. I know Max, but I forget you're still teenage adults. Do I have any more messages that I'm missing? Nope. Which one is this? Okay, that one's, this is Nathan's father, and the other one I think was Nathan. So I better hurry, yep. Let's see what's here, though. That monochrome camera is brand new and costs about six grand. <sighs> Bastard. Why 
why would you drop six grand on a camera? I don't even remember Nathan Prescott being a big camera person. I remember him like teasing Max about having the camera. Him and Victoria were teasing her about the camera. So why does he have a six grand camera? I just said camera like 12 times. That's so cute and ironic. I can't believe Nathan still has it around. I mean, I said this in the beginning of episode four, and I'm like, hey, I have 9,000, I can't even afford simple things. Nathan clearly has his fetish down. Oh, wrong button. I don't know why I pushed escape. Whoops. That is so Chloe. You know, just in case you couldn't read this big scratched, uh, something or other. Ooh, what does this oh say? Oh my god. Chloe. Oh, Chloe. Oh dear. By the way, if you hear me breathing a lot, uh, it's because I keep forgetting to, like, pull my, uh, microphone stand up. Well, it's not even the stand, it's, like, on the side of my ear. But I keep forgetting to pull up the stand because, uh, like, I don't know what I'm expecting, so I don't want to just keep pulling it up and down. But, so you're gonna hear a little bit of inconsistent breathing, and I'm sorry. What happened to this lamp, though? That must be the lamp Chloe broke when Nathan drugged her. Wow. Again, I don't know what grade this is. They're treating it like they're all grown adults, but earlier in the series, your mom, like, Max's mother, texts you and says, we can bring you to regular high school. So is this a college or is it a high school? I am so lost. I don't think one book can guide the Prescotts. Haha, <laughs> Dr. Bill, because there's no Dr. Phil. Alternate reality type crap. Damn, Nathan. That's a nice shot. <sighs> if only all your energy went into photography. It's so damn creepy, but the guy has his own style. It's a dead bird. It's multiple. There's one, there's two, there's three. I don't know if this is the fourth bird or if that's just a crumple. It's weird. That's what it is. Uh, I already checked that. Wait. Lens. Didn't check that. I thought Victoria had the photo bling, but I can rewind if he shows up, but I can't count on it. Okay, I better hurry then. Uh, would it be on his computer? Nathan is way into this party. Bad sign. Okay. So he's sending, Nathan is sending emails to Victoria, already bad sign, and he's saying, hey gorgeous, so that's even worse because it's like, are they a thing? Are they just a thing made out of pure evil, or are they like a no to, no TP? Can never say that right. Bastard. Now I remember why I hate you, and why Kate will get justice. Uh, I want to punch this guy in the face. Oh man. Sean Prescott might be Nathan's real problem. Don't F it up, son. Your father. Wow. Let's see. Apparently, Dr. Bill is just a household name for the Prescotts because they apparently have him on a first, like, not even a first name basis. It's like a contact list. It's like, hi, I know you're a celebrity and everything, but I need you to come to talk to my son. By the way, uh, if you wanted to read that, just pause the video. Too bad Nathan isn't more like his sister. She sounds awesome. And far away. Again, I don't know how, uh, how much longer I have until Nathan pops up, so I'm just gonna leave this one here for a second, and if you want to read it, just pause it. Okay. What's this? Oh, this should be good. Nathan likes his tortured subjects way too much. Great! DVDs. These films all have a dark pattern. Well, yeah. I mean, there was a movie playing. I don't know what happened to it. More importantly... Oh. What the... What are those? What are those? What the hell are all those marks on the floor? Wait. A couch? Oh! Oh, there's like... Claw marks on the floor from like the couch? Like, the leg of the couch was scratching? Maybe? Let's find out what you're hiding.
Oh yes, little phone. You are mine now. Okay. Oh. Now I have Nathan's phone, so I don't think this prescription has helped Nathan. Oh dear. So now I need to really... I've checked everything out in his room. So now I need to uh, run back to uh, Chloe and not have my camera spaz out. Jog a little faster and... Here, phone, here. Damn, Max, you're finally back. I got worried. So what did you find? His room was clean and creepy. Check this out. Boom, Nathan. We got you by the balls, fucker. What are you doing in my dorm? You're such a nosy bitch, Max. Stop right there, Nathan. Make me, ho. <clears throat> Max, I got this. Get the fuck out of my face. You are so fucking dead! Yeah. Get off me, bro! Yeah. Oh. Warren just came out of nowhere and starts going like all Hulk on Nathan. That sounds weird, but it's the only reference I could think of at the current moment. So I can either uh, stop him or let him pretty sickly kick his ass. I'm only gonna let him kick his ass because he deserves it. You like to hurt people, huh? Like Max? Like Kate? Like me? Huh? Feel this, motherfucker! Get off me! Please! Please stop! He's down! Hey, come on! Stop. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, we have to go. Who's the bitch now? Chloe. Damn, Warren went full alpha on Nathan. And it was good. But scary. Shit, man. This really hurts. Wow, I, I, hmm. Okay, my moral compass, personally, says that nobody should get hurt. But at the same time, it's also saying, this is Nathan, and he is awful, and he kind of deserves to get punched in the face. Your face is not broken, it's just in pain. Okay, wait, so he has, a, like, a sort of a black eye on one. He has major bruising on both eyes. He has a cut on his nose. Apparently Warren's fists are made of glass. I mean, I've never been in a fist fight. Good. Everybody but hates me. Everybody. I'm going to regret doing this. I need to see what the other option says. Me like that, huh? You and you, you're all dead. Let's go now. Plus, my dad is on his way. You're all fucked. He owns you. Even if Nathan definitely deserved a beating, we should try to be better than that. Hmm. So he's either incapacitated on the ground and he thinks his face is broken which I'm okay with suddenly or he walks away with his gun still and I'm pretty sure he'll be aware that his door is now broken and now he has a hate towards me Warren and Chloe so uh surprisingly enough I'm going to go with the uh, the future where he gets beat up because I feel like he deserves that just slightly more. 
I know that makes me sound like a terrible person, but he is a terrible person. Plain and simple. Damn. Space. Skip all this. Stay out of it. Go for it. Bam. Hey. Okay, so now he's crying on the floor. He seems to be in a lot of pain, so I better get out of here quickly. Shit, man. And he said a voice line before I left. Okay. Damn. That was intense. Warren, uh, th thank you so much. For what? For beating the shit out of Nathan Prescott? Dude, you rule. I don't know. I kind of went crazy there. Like Nathan. You're not anything like him. Good to know. So where are you going? I better stick with you guys. Just in case you need me to get my Hulk on again. Or should I call the cops on Nathan? No police. Not yet. Uh, so maybe you better... Um... Warren, me and Max have to do this on our own. No offense. It's cool. Whatever I can do to help. What you can do is find out anything you can about Nathan's father. I'm on it. Between the snow and eclipse, I'm assuming the apocalypse is around the corner. And thank you. Seriously. I'll call you later. You better. I'm feeling pretty alpha now. Yes, you are. Man, that guy is so fucking in love with you. I know. He really did give a serious beat down to Nathan. It was a little scary to watch him do that. Now let's make a date with Frank. Will he even answer you? Frank always answers when he wants money. Like I said, Frank wants to see me right now. Let's not keep him waiting. I hate seeing those poor whales like that. Me too. I just think of their families in the ocean out there looking for them. Well, that asshole's gonna help us find Rachel. Or what? You'll actually shoot him? Chloe, do not count on my rewind. Seriously. Obviously I'm not counting on you. That's why I have a gun. And I might even save you someday. About time. I am so going to hit you. There's no way we could have guessed this is what would happen to us when we grew up. I'm looking forward to the day when we can just go on a road trip to Portland. Fuck yeah. You, me, and Rachel. Absolutely. So let's play this cool, okay? Just pay Frank his money, and then we can get that code for the book from him. That's all. Got it. No dicking around. Let's roll. Alright, I'm gonna just sit here for a second and actually question something because so it's because of my power we think that the snow happened even though it was like 80 degrees in the first episode and then the eclipse happened in the second episode yeah the second episode so now we have to see Frank all the way out here shut up Max I'm trying to think of something about your future and then the past I don't know but so those happen be because I'm assuming because of my powers, and I uh, yeah. so the beached whales are also part of it because like it's apocalyptic something or other. But in the alternate universe with the chaos theory, when Chloe was still uh, broken spine and basically handicapped, is that the proper term? If it's not, I sorry if I offended anyone. But she's basically uh paralyzed. That's the word I was thinking of, and. The whales were still in that future, too. 
So, is it just a constant thing with my power? I don't know. There might not be any Pan Estates by Saturday. It's time to stop the Pan Estates development that is leading to destruction of jobs, lives, and resources. Join the peaceful protest protest at Pan Estate HQ. Wow. The, the actual company is trying to keep the company from continuing. What does this... Well, duh. No worries, sign. Well, duh. We're not parked on the beach. We're parked on the road. It's over there. So I best find Clo. There she is. Oh, more stuff for me to look at. That's a table. This is where Frank ponders his existence and gets drunk. Great, great. Food! Oh, fresh meat. So Pompadou must be okay. Good doggy. And garbage. I have no reason to look at garbage. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. You should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, we're bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? Hmm. He's a drug dealer, and he's really angry at us because I tried to shoot him, so I'll just give him the money? Oh, I thank you. That wasn't so hard, now was it? And let's not do any more business again. Now, if you excuse me. Frank? Could we ask you a couple quick questions? You have some serious lady balls. No. Jesus, okay, okay. But I'm not getting you high. Frank, we're not here to get high. No, you don't look like the type. Not like Chloe here. So what do you hardy boys want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? You already did? Bad future. Uh, you don't get it. Help or else. I'm sorry. You don't get it, maybe? You don't get it, man. This is for a good cause. No, man, I do not get it. Especially from a weirdo like you. You know, I hate the way you talk to me like you, like you know more than I do. No, no, I'm not. I, I sort of do. Oh, Christ, I hate you, Blackwell. Shit. You expect everything for free. You're not getting any handouts from me. I work for a living, you understand? Yes, Frank. Without those Blackwell shits as customers, you wouldn't have any work at all. Dude, you're a drug dealer. Yeah, right, okay. Both of you are giving me a headache. No deal. Frank, we didn't come here to fight. This is so much bigger than us. What, you, you come in peace? After you aimed a fucking gun at me, and then pulled the trigger! No bullets, you scared me, helping Chloe, our old hideout. No bullets? There were no bullets in the gun. We were safe, tough guy. There is something wrong with you, girly. You pulled the trigger because you wanted to show me how safe I was? I just... I didn't know what I was doing. Dude, get off her ass. She was protecting me. You've got a knife and God knows what else. Are you really afraid of Max here? I'm not afraid of anybody except my maker. And you little bitches think you can outsmart me? Why, because I'm trailer trash? You're Blackwell trash. And it's time to take you out. Calm down, Frank. Let's just talk. Don't you ever tell me what to do. Get it, bitch? Get it? Set the fuck back now! <laughs> Pompadou! You fucking killed my dog! Oh my god! Whoops. My bad. Oh no! Chloe... 
I just shot a man and his dog. I killed Frank Bowers. You saved my life, Chloe. It, it was self-defense for both of us. Max? Frank is really dead. I know, but we can't stop now. We have to find that code. Fast. Before the co cops come. That's it. Let's get out of here. Sorry, Frank. I'm sorry. Yes, I would like to rewind. Jesus. I I do oh, not I want to say that Frank is dead because of me. She'll never. This this her. is a really long sequence. Oh, oh my God! I thought I was doing okay. And Turns out I, I was not. Why am I yelling? Oh yeah, that's right. This was a really serious moment. Just killed a flippin' man and shot his dog too. That's just like number one thing of cruelty. It's torture, not death. Listen, Chloe. I can tell you for a fact that this will not go well. Max, I should have known you would be kind and rewind. So tell me exactly what I need to do here. Get rid of gun, be careful. Watch your mouth. Watch your mouth. Please watch your mouth. You have no social skills here and you will piss off Frank immediately. You kind of love this, don't you? Fine, I'll try being like you for a change. Or how you used to be. Close the door, no fight, no weapons. I wish I did not skip that last bit. Uh, no fight. Thanks for hearing me out, Frank. Look, we only want to talk, and it's not even about you. We're not here to start a fight. No, that shit would be over pretty fast. Don't fuck with me, and I won't return the favor. So what do you want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? You don't get it, man. This is for a good cause. No, man, I do not. No, no, I'm not. I, I... Oh, Christ, I hate you, Blackwell. Shit. You expect everything for free. You're not getting any handouts from me. I work for a living, you understand? Yes, Frank. Without those Blackwell shits as customers, you wouldn't have any work at all. Dude, you're a drug dealer. Yeah, right. Okay. Both of you are giving me a... Frank, we didn't come here to fight. This is so much bigger than us. What, you, you come in peace? After you... To be honest, Frank, you scared me. You held a knife on my friend. I didn't want to pull the trigger. I could tell by the way you held that pop gun, with both hands, like it was a magnum. Or maybe I shouldn't have brought that knife to a gunfight. I only want to shoot with my camera. I swear. Ask Chloe. Look, Frank, Max doesn't need a gun anyway. So are we cool? Please? Okay. We're cool for now. But my dog isn't. And if you try any shit, he will bite your head off. He's done it before. We're only here to talk. I wouldn't mess with your dog. Shit, you wouldn't have time. You like dogs? Gave a dog a bone, dog rescue. Pompidou is cute. Train to kill. Dog rescue. Of course I do. I heard you even rescued a bunch of fight dogs. That's amazing. No, all right, it was just the right thing to do. I couldn't stand to see those poor animals treated like, like slaves. That's how I came to own Pompidou. That's very cool, Frank. Your dog is lucky you came along. Maybe we can focus on rescuing Rachel now? Rachel? Is that why you're really here? Yes, we're so close to finding her now, Frank. We need all the help we can get now. Especially from you. You and Chloe do not know Rachel like I did, and I couldn't even help her. You're in way over your heads. Why don't you just go play in your clubhouse? Uh, what are you hiding? Rachel's letter, bracelet, you know Rachel. Frank, you knew Rachel 
almost better than anybody. And you know more than us. Together we could find her. Do you have anything to lose? When Rachel vanished, I pretty much lost everything. I can't stand not knowing where she is. Not hearing her voice or her laugh anymore. We can change all that. It's up to you. Help us find her, Frank. Please. We really need your client list. Well, if there's a chance in hell you two dorks can find Rachel, yeah, I'll take it. My dog isn't barking at you, so I guess that's a good sign. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Frank. Seriously. It's hard to take you characters seriously, but I want to. Good luck. Yeah, I'm that was cool. Dope. Frank gave up the code to help us. Okay. Rachel must have seen something good in him. Yeah, I'm good at social skills. It only took first degree murder for me to realize what I was doing. Yeah, that sounds terrible, but it's kind of true. Anyway, I feel like this has been a really long episode because I still can't see what time it is. Uh, but I'll just close this here. This was Dan. Life is strange. This episode is really long. Like, not this source code episode, like this general uh, dark room. But until next time, later, everybody.